What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to my channel, Chef Z Cooks. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make some salmon but in an air fryer. Now let me tell you guys something, this recipe is honestly one of my favorite recipes to make in the air fryer because it is so tasty and I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own homemade blackened seasoning, which is truly out of this world and one of the things that I love about making it at home is that you can actually control just how spicy you like it. Now, like with all air fryer recipes here on my channel, just know that whatever air fryer you have at home is definitely going to work. Just try and match the settings as closely as possible as I'm going to be showing you guys in today's recipe. So if you wanna learn how to make some air fryer blackened salmon, just go ahead and keep watching. One of my favorite things about this air fryer salmon recipe is the blackened Cajun rub, which is honestly to die for. It's so tasty that you can use it on other dishes. We're gonna start off by making our blackened rub by mixing together some onion powder, some garlic powder, some paprika. I'm also going to be adding some chili powder, but feel free to use some cayenne pepper if you like, and you can definitely control the heat level. I've mixed together some oregano, basil, and parsley. I'm now going to add some brown sugar, which is really going to round out our blackened rub, and I'm going to mix everything until it's well combined. I'm now going to season my wild caught salmon with some kosher salt and black pepper. Now anytime I make salmon or eat salmon, I definitely look out for some wild caught salmon because that's just honestly the best quality. Now do keep in mind that these are two big pieces of salmon and they're fairly thick, so feel free to season them liberally. Now if you have smaller pieces of salmon, they won't take as long to cook, but don't worry because I'll walk you through that later on. We're now going to add our homemade blackened rub, which is honestly my favorite part of this whole entire recipe. Now if you have some leftover rub, don't worry because you can definitely use it to make some blackened chicken or any other protein. I'm now going to add some olive oil and I'm going to rub it into the salmon. Now do keep in mind that Sammy is a little bit on the fattier side. So I added a good amount of oil to the salmon because I wanted to crisp up really nicely in my air fryer. If I were to make this on the stove, I wouldn't add as much olive oil. Now I wanna make sure that the salmon is completely covered in that yummy, yummy rub. I'm now going to set up my air fryer and I'm going to set it to 400 degrees and for 10 minutes. Now keep in mind that different air fryers have different settings, so just try and match it as closely as possible to mine. And once my air fryer has come up to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add my salmon skin side down and I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes. Now, if the highest that your air fryer will go is 390 degrees, that's totally fine. Now, my air fryer does come up to temperature. If yours asks you to put the food in right away, just add an extra two minutes to let it heat up. And after those 10 minutes, the salmon is ready and it's super, super juicy. I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to cook the second piece of the salmon. Now, cooking the salmon for 10 minutes is going to give you a salmon that's cooked about medium. And keep in mind that my salmon is on the thicker side. If you like your salmon more well done, feel free to add more time. If you like it a little bit more rare, feel free to add less time. And as you can see, this salmon is beautiful and it has a nice crust to it. And I'm going to add some fresh lemon just to bring all those flavors alive. So there you guys have it. That's my recipe for some blackened air fryer salmon. If you have any questions, comment below. And until next week, I'm Chef Z y buen provecho. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like some air fryer recipes. And if you need some inspiration on what to cook next, go ahead and click right here.